Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, want to thank everybody supporting us on Patreon. And Ko-Fi. Couldn't do without you guys. You know, I saw this, and I saw people scuffing. And, you know, a lot of people will scuff and say, that's CGI, that's fake. You know, this person's saying, hey, sometimes... Our eyes can play tricks on us, but I would like to know what your opinion is. Mud fossil hashtag. You know, and you look at the comments. Why do you keep pa trying to pass off fake AI videos? This is, and it says it's automated. So, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I think that a lot of uh, the tweets we get and all the comments you get, they are bots. They're either bots or they're often uh, people that are in the system, paid by the system to discredit things. That does kind of look like a giant skull, you know. Maybe it's not at all, but it does definitely have a resemblance, wouldn't you say? Well, it has a resemblance. And, you know, there's more than that one here on the planet. There's just a lot with that resemblance. Yeah, you know, there are, again, power structures in place that cannot have the real hidden you know, past being shown openly to the public so they have to refute it they they have to put it down they have to automatically say fake etc etc but you know i want to get across the fact that again we've had a lot of direct uh well encounters with things we've had a lot of experiences ourselves uh hands-on and i'll share with you this this we found very close to Nellis Air Force Base. Um, and what was weird about this was uh, we almost died because we were so captivated by this. Um, me and Sassy, I think, Sassy and me were approaching this hole. And then I think Zeke was warning us not to uh, approach the hole because... We were staring at this skull, or what we took to be a skull, and it felt very much like a dragon energy, and we didn't notice that we almost fell into a mining hole that was a mine shaft that was hundreds of feet deep. Um, it had captivated us so much, the energy coming off of it was so strong that it's almost like I was in a trance, and just walking towards it, and then I, I kid you not, I looked and just like a couple of feet in front of me was a mine shaft that I had no clue was even there. And it, it just dropped on down for a long ways. And so, you know, this this event will remember very, very strongly when I asked Cindy, what do you feel? Because I felt that this was some sort of live being. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, magical too, because dragons carry a lot of energy. As you know, they carry a lot of kundalini energy. So for us to be captivated by it, um, that's not surprising. That's not surprising at all, because even the body parts, when you die, they still can carry that majestic type of energy. So this was uh, definitely a blessing and a double blessing that we didn't fall down the mine shaft while we were just kind of gawking at it you know our jaws dropped and it's like wow and you look in the middle it even has like the little n nostril holes there i mean that, that's, yeah you know again i have a python um and she has these nostril holes and multiple and this does remind me of what you would find in reptiles and snakes um, absolutely, it, it looks like there's three of them, the way it's proportioned, too. I do think this was a skull. Um, I, I do think it was. And I would, do you, if I remember right, was this about as tall as me? I'd say about six feet tall. A little bit taller than me. So this is probably like six to seven feet tall. Yeah, I, I couldn't see all the way over the top. Um, this is probably up at, in line with the top of my head. So this is like 20 feet wide, yeah. something. I mean, it was big. This is really big. And it certainly felt um, powerful in, in a way, like Cindy was saying. It was throwing a little spell over us. And, you know, Zeke kept looking 
at me. I looked down at him because it felt like he was trying to tell me something. And it was that I was about to take another step and go down a mining shaft. Um, this was 2019, I think. Mm-hmm. It was right around there, yeah. I mean, we were lucky that, um, gosh, the the birds actually flew up and out of the mining shaft. And that's truly what got our attention. And Zeke is trying as best as he can to not, you know, he's like standing in front of us going really slow. So we can't take one step after the next. And then Sass runs up to the mining shaft and all these birds fly out. And then we're, we saw the mining shaft. And all the all the time, our eyes were just locked on this this entity. I think Nellis Air Force Base is where it is for a very important reason. Um, I think you know again, Nellis is part of that complex um, that extends all the way up to where is all those uh, ammo storage? They're at their past Goldfield, aren't they? Hawthorne, Hawthorne, all the way up to Hawthorne. This is Area 51. This is uh, Area 6. So many top secret things go on on this base. And I think the reason is because there's entrances here into inner Earth. And there's a lot of uh, reptilian activity that's gone on in the past there. Um, We have seen humanoid footprints in the middle of desert. Nobody's going to be walking out in this desert in bare feet. That were totally barefoot and um, size 15-ish, I would say. Um, pretty big. Not extraordinary big. I mean, probably the same size that Shaq would have or maybe a pro uh, MBA um, center might have. But right next to mine shafts. Right next to mine shafts that are abandoned with big do not enter signs. Uh, we were all over this area. We just like to go and get lost and, and to explore places that other people didn't explore. And we found a lot of really odd things uh, in between Pahrump all the way up to like Hawthorne. Uh, again, 85% of Nevada is basically controlled by the government. Uh, the same is the case with Wyoming. I, I think it's 75% of Wyoming, something like that is is basically controlled by the government in one way, shape, or form. In other words, the public doesn't have access to a lot of it, or you can certainly not buy it and try to. Now, we, we did have a small homestead starting not too far from here. Um, and this is, again, where we saw ships on a nightly basis just materialize out of no, nothing and then go over Area 51 and disappear into another Portal. I, I, that's the only thing I could say is is portal. When you look at what they tell us about dinosaurs, dinosaurs are real, but they're a cover story because th- not it's not like what they show. It's not like what they show at all. In some cases, what we're actually looking at is is definitely some reptilians. Some cases, it's reptilians' pets. Other times, it's you know reptilians livestock like cattle that's that's what i picked up is that yeah they definitely you know how we people breed dogs and they come up with different breeds of dogs well you have different breeds of these dinosaur things and that was the thing you know and in many ways i feel that the dinosaurs and the engineering of them was a practice run to engineer us too Oh, there's been a lot of genetic experiments going on. That's what gets done by uh, this group, let's say, is they do an awful lot of genetic engineering and exploring. We also found this. Now, I know uh, some people have mentioned Roger, Mud Fossil University. Uh, He does a great job. And for whatever reason, we were not allowed to comment on his live stream. I don't think that's Roger. I think that's the system. I don't think they want... Uh, us connected with a lot of certain people of the same mindset this to me hit me like a gigantic pachyderm some sort of fossilized maybe a dinosaur type thing but I felt I'm thinking this is mammalian this is more like maybe an elephant or some variation of elephant it was it's huge I mean it's it's enormous and uh, it's, it's not far from the same area. All this is within, I would say, 
20 to 30 uh, mile circle. Um, so there's a lot of things that are hidden here. Um, this one, it's, it's an area that we would frequent. And the energy off of this one was very, very interesting uh, as well. Well, you do. You get these majestic stones and you can actually feel them and you can touch them and you can get images and definitely something very large uh, elephant like in nature is what came um something so very very old something ancient uh definitely alive yep. and big <laughs> and big um as we were i'll play a little bit of this Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, I just wanted to share some amazingly beautiful scenery. What a difference a little snow makes. Uh, the mountains are just so much prettier when they're snow covered. Look at these clouds. I mean, just touching the mountains. And Nellis is on the other side of those mountains. So, you know, that's, that's very close. And when you look to Ridgecrest, this is... Um, Again, this outcropping. Actually, if I if I back out more down the hill this way, you might be able to see it better. But boy, this thing hits me as like a mud fossil. And being that being that I had a dream last night or a vision last night of what I took to be like two of the titans actually fighting, it was amazing because in my dream they were like hundreds of feet tall, uh, you know, if not bigger. It was incredible, like, in the area. Just looks strange, hits me. So it, it's a little blurry. Um, that still is probably the best shot we have of it. How big was this? This was like a football field, I want to say. I think from... From one side to the other was, I would say, about a football field and then maybe half a football field. Um, yes, I would say that that's pretty accurate. Um, from this side to this side, about half a football field and this way, you know, about a full 300 feet. It, it was big. And this is something else that we, that we found, again, firsthand that was just unusual because there's these indentations and I've since found other people that have come upon these weird indentations in, in other parts of the globe. Uh, this is an area where there was no buildings. There, there, there was nothing. I mean, this is Nevada desert and there's unusual impressions. Maybe there's a natural explanation or maybe there was something else here. So I wanted to show you about this area. And I don't know, maybe there's a process that causes these circular indents, but they're everywhere around here. Well, I wouldn't say everywhere. What do we say, about 15 to 20 of them? Yeah. Yeah, maybe 15 to 20 of these in different spots. Okay. And you can see it's, it's imprinted. So was this caused by something sinking into molten lava? Was this caused by something very heavy being up here, like a piece of equipment or machinery? There's no mining here. And there's another one. And so we've encountered these things and they're all circular. So they really caught our attention around the bend here. Maybe. So, you know, it's just weird. It's just weird. Was there machinery in place that was m removed? Um, again, this is not an area that's been mined. You know, there is a lot of mining in Nevada, but not here. It, it kind of feels like there was something heavy here that was more dense 
than the rock and we keep encountering rock out there in the desert that looks like concrete or some sort of amalgam well it's also porous so it's really strange um it's just (laughs) it's not natural in the way of things that you would think natural and in this it really felt like yeah some kind of machinery parked here possibly large spaceship i don't know building with some type of uh pillars but it was um, definitely something and out there and then that's all there is. There's no other, there's no equipment, there's no mining shafts, there's uh, no junk to, to suggest that maybe someone was mining out there, there's no signs, all you see is these. And, and for hundreds of miles around, there's just n- nothing, there's nothing. So it's a big mystery. Yeah, it was just weird because um, we made it a purpose to go off any sort of trails, not that there were any trails out there. There really are no trails because there's probably less than 1,000 people living um, in like a 70-mile radius, I want to say. It's it's not a heavily populated area. Again, it's, it's, it's far north of Pahrump which, you know, does have a decent amount of people. But then you go through the tiny town of Goldfield and you go through uh, Hawthorne and that's just military bases. Uh, And then off to the east is Nellis, which is massive. And then off to the west, you go into Death Valley and then you get to Ridgecrest and that area, which is again, again, another military base uh, over an area that has a lot of legends of inner earth inner earth giants of artifacts that resemble egyptian artifacts tibetan artifacts uh stories of reptilian beings stories of greys um stories of miners um prospecting and looking for for their golden treasure and falling into the what appears to be mine shafts no human in our age ever made uh and then encountering all sorts of weird remnants of previous civilizations so yeah there's a lot hidden out in the american west southwest and it really is fascinating but it is part of a civilization of which we um we don't have any official explanation not by historical records absolutely zero yeah i just wanted to share this stuff with you guys because some of you guys have been with us where we remember we were always on the road back in that time period and you you might have been with uh us you know in in various locations we've been sitting still for a while and uh it's not my nature to sit still but anyway we did do a lot of on the road uh travels and investigations and encounter a lot of these places ourselves and had a lot of first-hand experiences that were really, really cool. Indeed. So, just wanted to share them. Look forward to your comments, your thoughts, your perceptions. Much love. Thanks for being part of the family. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.